So I'll post a little clip of what this truck is doing. I started it with doing a test and then a little video. You guys will be able to see. It was squirting out of a hole that it wasn't supposed to be. So like always, I'm starting a video mid um, midway when the truck is already apart. But we're in the taking apart process right now. Got the valve cover off, got the hood, got the radiator off. Next thing, we're gonna take this cover off. The cam's gonna come out, and then we gotta pull the head off. And we gotta see, so we checked the air compressor. And then we check the EGR cooler. Cause that's what it could be doing if it's either of those things, but neither of those things were at fault. So that means the problem is somewhere up there or down there. The infamous Cummins drop liner or a cracked head. Cause it kind of sounded like the driver could have overheated it. So that's what we're gonna be looking for. So I'm gonna be taking this cover off right now and then pulling the cam out and then we'll go from there. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Cam is now out. So now the head is almost, almost ready to come out. Just gotta unbolt the exhaust manifold and these little add ons. And then the head will be ready to come out. But the main things are out already. And next step is just unbolting and securing. Make sure things don't fall when you pull the head off. All right, let's move on. So due to someone copywriting my video, I have to do a little voiceover. So what we're looking at here is we have uh, the block and this is where we're looking at the edges where you see me pointing the flashlight. We're looking at the edge, edges, how it's worn. So you have like a clear line around and then that line disappears, meaning that the surface is not even. So it was laying not even, which is why the liner goes down and it blows a head gasket. So if you look around all the edges, we had it on multiple liners. Um, this is pretty much where you have to cut it to get it even again. And then you put a shim underneath the liner to get it uh, to the correct level, correct height. And then you put everything back in. So we're looking at the edges here, not in the inside of the block, but we're looking at the edge on the top. If we look around the whole circle, You'll see where it's even, even, even where, 
and then it just disappears, meaning that the liner was not touching there. 2,000 years later. So I just gotta tighten these down. I just put them in for now. We're moving along. I'm not doing a good job of documenting because I'm in a hurry. I have another job uh, waiting. So I gotta get this one out of here. Um, the camshaft is in. The gears are in. I just put the, see right there. I got the pump in. Got the pickup tube in and the ladder. I got most of the stuff hooked up on this side. Just got to zip tie it down. Um, put the oil pin in, do the valve adjustment, and then pretty much it's the easy stuff uh, from here on out. So I will keep you guys updated. Got it all closed up, we got the fan on, got the shroud, everything more or less secure. Just got a few more power lines to zip tie. And the next thing is this. This will be going in. And this is already the home stretch. Can't wait to get this thing out of here. Alright guys, so there's an annoying reefer over there. I don't have my mic. But here we go, this thing is done. We've got the head on. Um, got a starter, everything's good, runs good, oil pressure and everything. Um, we even got it connected to the to the trailer. Um, this thing is ready to go. Everything is good so far. Hopefully it stays that way. But yeah, um, I would say successful rebuild. Cool, it's staying inside, not going anywhere. Oh, the temperature is good. Everything is good so far. I guess that'll be the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know I didn't do the best job documenting it, but did the best I could with uh, the time I had. But yeah, this is uh, one of many trucks I have coming up. Hopefully I'll be able to document those as well. But either way guys, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.